What is going on guys today? We are looking at mid deco one of one of the only players actually to win a Champions League with two teams winning so many awards for Porto and obviously then doing it pretty much the same for Barcelona. He's one like I say he's one of the only ones to have won the Champions League final with two of them. I think he got best midfielder for Porto and then he did get man of the match in a final I think in 2004 from what I've read. He is prolific in both of them teams making his name for both of them. I think 140 for Porto, 100 and something for Barca. Incredible career he's had and with already done his base card is 85 and that one is is relatively the cheap one that one's coming in at about 270 280 all icons are kind of like at that sort of base level where they're not kind of dropping below 270 at the moment with obviously the the kind of big in big weight for icon spcs will they need an icon i think the market's kind of kept up on that hype plus they are pretty hard to pack anyway i've personally not got one as of yet but hopefully we are on the search for our first icon we have looked at base now we're looking at the mid and then I think it's in I want to say February when we do get the primes it's either February or yeah I think it is February that we get primes and then a little bit later on we do get prime moments so it's going to be very interesting to see all of them and have a full collection of an icon done we have got the, the base the mid done now and then we move on to the prime next but we have got him right now let's get into the in games and see what this guy can do so with Deco, he is currently about 280 on the PlayStation, 290 on the Xbox for his mid. It's an 87 cam and he's not awful. He's not the greatest either. He does have some nice links, obviously, with Ronaldo, with Renato Sanchez. He does hold that power of linking the two sides together because he does get, um, I think it is a strong link for, say, Renato and Ronaldo, linking then Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo all together in a cracking team. And it is a little bit of a price to pay like I say 290 on the Xbox, for instance. I would much rather go and get Eusebio if I had the coins, but... He's good to, to bring on and maybe take off as a sub. You're not really going to lose too much as he is nearly the kind of minimum price if you wanted to kind of use him to utilize him as a, a player who's going to link. Um, there is plenty of other ways as well if you wanted to get creative with it. But he's not awful. He's not foot champs worthy in my opinion. And I think I did play a couple of games with this version. With the base, it was predominantly uh, rivals and friendlies where I think this deco actually went into like the last few games of foot champs with me. And he did manage to score a couple of goals, which is always nice. Um, I do like my cams and currently have another Portuguese there in Bruno Fernandes with the same rating. And I would personally say Bruno is better. The one thing that deco does have that every other gold card has uh, that doesn't is the fact that he does link everybody. So that is always that big key. And I think with an icon, it's almost like just the kind of placebo effect. And it's like what I said with Closer. It's almost like saying you've got an icon. He's going to be relatively good. I'm not saying that all icons are going to be amazing for you, but just having that sort of level of player in your team, you kind of almost think that they should be even better than what they play um, sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't I think more than likely it's mainly strikers for me that really don't hold up their end of the bargain because I always expect a lot more as a defender it's not necessarily easier but you can kind of almost defend your way out of it with a striker they have to score they don't score you don't win it's as simple as whereas I think there's more pressure going on in that attack then it would be the defense for me and then it would be kind of like the midfield the midfield really doesn't have too much to do because as long as they can pass as long as they can have a little bit of a dribble and kind of move around a little bit that's all I expect from them he's got 80 pace with 82 acceleration so it's nice to see the top half is more shooting wise it's a bit average I think if you're looking for more of an attacking midfielder who's going to actually score, you'd definitely be looking at a hunter for him because his passing and agility, uh, his passing and dribbling, in fact, are both 87. So really high stats, as you can see. We've got the 84 composure, which is, is nice enough. We have 85 agility and 81 balance, which again is, is very good. I think for a five foot nine player, it's not awful at all. Great short and long pass at 1989. A really, really good selling point for him. Um, I could play him as more of a center mid of anything. Whack something like a, a shadow on him or something along them lines to kind of boost that defending and have, have him as that like kind of balanced midfielder. He has only 83 stamina, which as a kind of like a, a middle ground player, I think will do. 
obviously you won't you, you won't want to kind of keep running with him, which I don't think you would do anyway. He's not the sort of player to, to dribble past everybody. Even though he's got very close control, which I noticed, I'm really good at keeping the ball. I wouldn't go and, I wouldn't try and be taken on six or seven men with him. That's kind of leave that down to Neymar's role or someone along them lines. Deco's more of the kind of pass and move, really play that, open up that play going forward, and that's what he's really good at. In terms of chemistry style then, into what, what Footbin have suggested is a hunter. And I think I quite rightly agree. I probably wouldn't put this card as a centre mid because I think with 45 defending, even with a shadow, it only takes it up to 54. I personally think that's not good enough to be a CM. You could put him there and I think he would do okay, but only if he had some very defensive players around him. And you would notice a difference between someone like him and someone like Pogba or someone like uh, Wijnaldum. They're very defensive orientated as well as maybe a little bit more attack. If a hunter goes on him, he gets 90 pace and 84 shoot, shooting, turn him into an 88 cam. And I think that's absolutely fine. I think that's a relatively good cam for the price tag. And that's what you've always got to think is, is the price tag worth it? Look at the links, what you can get in your team. Look at what their, their output is. And then look at, do you really need him? Is there another player in that position? So for me, if I put him into my main team, I have a practical BPL team around this player. I wouldn't necessarily need him. Bruno gets a strong link to wan -Bissaka. He then has links to Son, Lucas Moura and Werner. I wouldn't necessarily need an icon there. If I was trying to link Mbappe, Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi, potentially he could be one that does link. And maybe I go someone else. Maybe I go with him for the strong link to Ronaldo, not needing another link then to be able to get him on either 7, 8, 9, Kem. That for me is kind of like where you look at with an icon like this. Personally, I wouldn't recommend him. I think he's okay, and like I say, he's he's not awful, awful, but for 280k, I think there's plenty of options that we'll look in the end review. But anyway, let's look into the gameplay, see what it's all about. So going into the gameplay for him, he's a four-star skiller, three-star weak foot, medium-medium work rates, short and lean body type, and is right-footed. So... He's, he's got the kind of nice ground to him. He's done pretty well for me. I think we're playing some rivals at the moment. And then we move on to foot champs. I'm not too sure if this guy had any friendlies because I'm pretty sure that was Alan Shearer um, and Trezeguet, who I think Trezeguet have lost the footage for. Don't ask me how. But in terms of what he can out output and what he actually brought to the table, you see here, I think this one's a foot champs. First goal he scores, 15 minutes in, thinking, we'll just put him in there. We want to get some gameplay. I needed to finish some foot champs. Can he do it? Can he step up to the mark and really push it? And you see here, his ability on the ball, very nice ball control, really nice and uh, kind of short touches almost and does really well. We managed to kind of just managed to get out of that speed up lag as well, which is the bane of my life. But in general, I think he's all right. He's not awful on the ball. And I was really not necessarily surprised, but I thought his actual kind of his presence on the ball was actually really nice. And I think that is the placebo effect for me. It is the kind of icons being on your team makes you think that they're better than they are. They're 290k. They've got to be worth something. And I think mainly it is the links. But in general, I was really happy with him. Managed to get another goal with him there. And he's just playing wonderful for me. I think he is better than his base. And we'll have a look at that in the end review and kind of compare the two. He was nice on his base. I think his, his mid definitely scored more than he did. I think the base for me was just a little bit lackluster. Being an 85, I'm not really expecting too much. So whatever he can do is okay if you get what I mean. Whereas the mid, I'm expecting a little bit more, even if the stats aren't incredibly more uh, kind of higher rated, I want more still. But as we go into the overall for him, as you can see, the links have gone again with the Portuguese, Roy Costa, Figo. Eusebio's in there. Obviously, he is very, very expensive, but it's the Portuguese links. Some really good Portuguese icons. If you did want to make a team around them, obviously, then you can go with like Renato, Bruno, Ronaldo. Um, there's there's so many. We'll have a look into the, the Portuguese team just to show you what sort of players you can look at for more of a, a kind of nations team. And it's something I do want to get into. I do like like having multiple teams that you could kind of put into a, a squad and have a bit of fun with it. And especially with the friendlies we've got now, it's always nice to kind of try your luck in some of them. In terms of similar players, we've got Perlo, we've got Balak, who are kind of like that middle ground sort of player, which he can do. I think if I was going otherwise, Roy Costa would be very similar. You're looking at someone like Blanc's baby or base, however you want to say it. 
there's some really good players that you can go with icons in terms of links. Like I say, you can see here, the, there's only so many sent, like so many Portuguese players. Really, we look at Deco's other card. It's not amazing if we were to compare it. So if we take off the Hunter, if we can, I'm gonna have to take off the link first. But if we take off the Hunter, so you can see it, you've got an extra what two pace. We've lost one shooting, same passing. We've got two more dribbling on this one, same uh, defending, and two physical lost. For me, I think the shooting, yes, is a little bit of a downgrade, but we get the two pace, we get the extra dribbling, the same passing, which was always nice, and then two less physical, which I think at 65 physical to 63, you're not really going to notice too much of a difference there. In terms of other links then, so if we go with strong links, I think these are going to show us all the icons, which obviously you know are going to be strong links anyway. I think it might be weak links then that we get all of the Portuguese lads. Like I said, we've got Ronaldo, Bruno, uh, we've got Bernardo, Pereira, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else kind of like cheaper beast Felix. That, I knew there was another striker. Semedo's a cracking one. Cancelo, Podence. There's some really good Portuguese players, and you could definitely make a decent Portuguese team. Obviously, it does kind of bank on the fact that you have got a Ronaldo there, but there is some very nice Portuguese team players that you could put together and, and have a nice team. You go with Podence on the left, if you've got all of the icons, say if you say Bar from uh, Eusebio, because he would wrap the price up like Ronaldo. You've got like someone like Felix, Semedo at right back. You could go with a Lopez or Roy Patricio as centre back. Left back wise, I think Inform Guerrero's not awful. You could even go with Pereira as left back instead of right back. Then you've got your midfield sword. You've got your Bruno, your, Fig uh, your um, Roy Costa, your Figo. There's plenty of players that can go around there. In terms of kind of like what I think this card is all about, he's mainly a bit of pace, not terrible, but a bit of pace. Lovely passing, same as his base. Very, very nice dribbling. Felt the ball control was really, really good on him and really kind of suited how you play with him. He's very good at stopping and changing direction, getting that pass off and then kind of pass and move as such. And then other than that, it's not as well-rounded as we like to see. In terms of his uh, mid or his prime, in fact, we have got more of a central midfielder card there with a little bit more pace, passing and dribbling, definitely been stepped up to the next mark. A bit more physical as well, which is always nice. And the same with the defending. I do think he is going to be very much a kind of cam sort of player again with his shooting going up. And again, you can see there a 91 cam instead. Much, much better. It will come in at a bigger price, but a nice player to, to kind of wait and see how he performs. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.